There are different biometric technologies like fingerprints, iris and facial scans. Travelers present themselves and their documentation and pose for a quick photo in seconds and the officer has the data they need based on a discussion with the traveler about the purpose of the trip and ultimately can make a decision about whether further examination is needed. But have you ever thought that is this process safe? Hello and welcome to Bar India News Aaj. Experts say that facial recognition technology is a highly sophisticated application due to its complex nature and it may cause risky business practices. Artificial intelligence is paired with the technology to create a smart facial recognition system for analysis. This technology has already caused disruption in industries such as law enforcement, healthcare, electronics, banking, retail and airline or travel. Facial recognition technology has enhanced our way of life and comes with biases in accuracy. Several studies show that facial recognition is less accurate in identifying people of color and women. Envisioned as Digi Yatra in 2018, the system involves the installation of biometric face recognition systems at various airports across India. These systems would scan the face of passengers, eliminating the need for a printed boarding pass and furnishing of identity documents to security personnel. Anyone using this for the first time will have to register themselves at the airport, following which their profile and biometric details will be added to the airport's database. Thereafter for every journey the passenger will have to scan their boarding pass for verifying their digi yatra identity from here all entry points except manual frisking at security checks before boarding will be through face recognition that would scan a face and open the gate automatically without manual checking of either the boarding pass or an identity card organizations such as the internet freedom foundation and many other activists have slammed the project stating that the system could be misused in a country where there is no data protection or privacy laws the dyf which consists of various private operators can collect vast amounts of personal and business data from passengers using its platform this data can be shared with entities within dyf and agents in relation to their programs including marketing and sales let us now look into today's headlines in bar india William and Kate named the Prince and Princess of Wales. Britain's King Charles bestowed the titles of Prince and Princess of Wales on his eldest son William and daughter-in-law Kate, passing on the titles that he and his late wife Diana previously held. William and Kate have taken on central roles within the royal family in recent years, appearing regularly in public and increasingly taking their three young children to events. Ministries argue over regulating OTT platforms. Key ministries are having mixed conclusions over the issue of regulating OTT players or apps such as WhatsApp, Telegram and Signal. The Ministry of Home Affairs and Department of Telecommunications have backed the idea from the perspective of national security and public safety. On the other hand, the Ministry of Electronics and IT is against any kind of regulation at this stage. The DOT has said that a mechanism should be evolved wherein it has powers to selectively ban OTT apps or content to check the spread of misinformation. The ministries have submitted these views as part of a consultation process undertaken by the DOT over the issue of regulating apps. Government to prepare a list of approved digital lending apps. The Indian government is scrutinizing the digital lending apps to segregate those which conduct unethical lending and recovery practices. The central bank has been asked to prepare a list of legal digital lending apps while the government will help ensure that only such apps conduct lending. The government has also directed RBI to keep a check on the accounts that may be used for money laundering and to review and if needed cancel licenses of dormant shadow banks which can be misused by the lending apps. WeChat warns overseas users over data being stored in China. Chinese social media platform WeChat is warning users outside China that their data will be stored on servers inside the country. A number of overseas WeChat users received a warning that personal data including likes, comments, browsing and search history, content uploads etc will be transmitted to China. The notification also reminds users that their behavior while using the app is subject to the app's licensing agreement and privacy policy. AWS announces public sector partnerships in India. 
The government of Telangana is working with Amazon Web Services to advance its cloud adoption framework to improve the scale and efficiency of its citizen service delivery for its 40 million residents, which will help reduce cost by 33%. The U.S. firm also announced the second cohort of the Quantum Computing Applications Lab in collaboration with the Ministry of Electronics and IT with support from the Office of the Principal Scientific Advisor to the Government of India as well as Emphasis and Fractal. That's all for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to War India News Magazine. You can download the War India app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for the latest news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you. Oh,